Hey everyone, I'm Lane Blank. I'm the manager of agronomic services for Southwest Saskatchewan. So in my previous minute, I talked a little bit about uh, the importance of phosphorus and pulses. Uh, now I'm going to kind of uh, tie that into the importance of uh, properly inoculating your pulses. Uh, so we kind of mentioned the importance of FOSS, um, but what most people don't realize is that uh, your pulses are huge nitrogen users. And we don't really think about it because they fix their own nitrogen. But in order to have them fix their own nitrogen, we need to add a rhizobia inoculation to uh, get those nodules formed. And one of the most important things to remember that every type of pulses uses a different strain of rhizobia. So knowing your pulse crop and your strain that you need is very important. You don't want to be adding a soybean strain to a pea and lentil crop. It's not going to benefit you. Uh, so for inoculants, there's three forms. There's liquid, peat, and granular. Uh, peat in liquid is applied directly to the seed and liquid can be applied in furrow. Uh, so some of the disadvantages of using liquid or peat is that uh, you're limited to the number of rhizobia per seed and you also can run into some trouble with uh, seed or sorry uh, rhizobia contact with your uh, seed treatments. Um, there can be some efficacy issues uh, regarding that. So those are things you need to be careful of. Uh, granular inoculants seem to be uh, the most popular and uh, research has shown that they can be uh, the, the greatest uh, benefit or most efficient on uh, getting nodule formation. Uh, so the granular inocu inoculants allow you to get uh, greater delivery rates of rhizobia because you can apply higher rates of the inoculant. Um, it also allows you to get some separation from any seed treatments that are applied on the seed and your rhizobia. Uh, some of the disadvantages of the granular are they tend to be a little more costly uh, and they also require uh, greater equipment requirements. Uh, lots of guys need uh, a separate tank on their seeders to apply the granular inoculant. And there is also some uh, storage and handling considerations. You want to make sure you keep that out of the sunlight and in a cool, dry environment. Uh, another question I normally get from growers is, we've been growing pulses in a rotation for a number of years now. Can we cut back our inoculant rates? And I always tell them, no. You want to follow the recommended guidelines for the inoculant product you're using. Um, if you have been growing pulses in your rotation for a long time, you will have some residual rhizobia in the soil, but the efficacy of those rhizobia is not going to be there, and it's going to be hard to judge the levels of rhizobia present, and also a lot of those rhizobia, you may get infection onto the plant, but their ability to actually uh, fix nitrogen is maybe not going to be there. So you always want to put the recommended rate of inoculant down for the product and crop that you're using.